Hi guys, welcome to the new channel, the the Mutated Horror Show. I am glad to have you here. This is the first episode of this new channel. I am very excited to get into this today, guys. I am just kind of running it off the top, see where this goes, because I have no idea what I am doing. I am literally just figuring things out as I go along. But guys, I hope you enjoy this video, so let's cut to this, which is going to be the Blair Witch game review. Okay, the Blair Witch game. So, my thoughts on this game after spending the last week or so playing through it is that I am really, really enjoying it. I think it's really good, there's lots of great atmosphere, it's really full of really cool thought provoking areas where with the PTSD, the overall vibe of the woods, you go in there with your companion, which off the top of my head I'm trying to remember the the dog's name. What is it is it is it is it Miles? Oh, I don't know. But the point is I really, really, really enjoyed having the two characters. I think they were really, really, really enjoyable to invest your time into. They really, really gave off a sense of humanity and just really, just a really different vibe than most video games that I have played that are horror games. Because normally with me, with horror games, when it comes to the game side of horror, I am a little bit picky about it. I'm not usually overly impressed. I find I'm a little bit too jump scary instead of focusing on like building an atmosphere and creating a really, really good effect to keep you engaged but and not to click off from playing it. I really, really enjoyed just pretty much nearly every aspect of it. Every, uh, Every aspect in the game other than the last few hours of the game. The last few hours of the game I did feel was a little bit... Uh, a little bit underwhelming to be completely honest compared to the first three hours of the game. The game is six hours long which is not that long but the last three hours of the game drags the feel of the story and kind of goes in a direction which isn't really anywhere near what the film is. I feel like it, it starts well with the adapt adapting the film, but then it kind of loses me in the last half of the game because I do feel like it's trying to be something that it's not and it's noticeable because when you come across the character Carver, I do feel like that's when the game is a little it's it drags the whole pacing of it down. It becomes not very interesting and turns into more of a thriller sort of action game in a way. Which is not really what I was looking for compared to the first half of the game, which really has that intense vibe that keeps you on the edge of your seat, that tells you exactly what it is. And this is a, probably something, this is probably just a personal thing, but the but the idea of there being no map within the game kind of threw me off a little bit because when I was when I was playing through the game I had to use some walk I had to use walkthroughs because I had no idea what I was doing without watching those walkthroughs. I would have I would have probably left the game at least on day one of playing it, to be honest. I just don't feel like... I just don't feel that if I didn't have those walkthroughs, I probably wouldn't have gotten as far into the game as what I did. That was pro that's probably my only major con, other than the second half of the story being a little bit weak. But I do feel like there's one last con that I should bring up, which is the lighting. 
Yeah, and specifically at the beginning of the game. At the beginning of the game, I do feel like the lighting is a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes it looks a bit too weird, the lighting with the sunlight. The sunlight kind of looks a bit too... A bit too fake looking at the beginning. I mean, towards further into the game, it's not as noticeable, but at the beginning of the game, it kind of gives me that vibe. It's a little bit... I know, it looks a bit murky looking, and same with the uh, darkness when it becomes darker during the game, the, the night and day sort of thing. The night time I do feel like is very, it's a bit too dark to be honest, because yes you do have a torch that doesn't run out, but that torch I feel isn't bright enough for you to be able to look forward and see where you are supposed to be going because there was a lot of time in the game where I felt like I was getting very very lost and e I mean even without a map I probably still would have gotten lost trying to find where I was supposed to go and that's probably an intentional thing to be completely honest to give you the vibe of the film with the uh, film being, you know, in an isolated forest, trying to find, you know, uh, with some kids that was going missing. But I just do feel like the area could have been a little bit more well lit in, and I don't know if it was just my copy of the game, I don't know. Please, tell, please let me know in the comments section down below, but I do feel like there were some bugs in the game every now and then, at least throughout the first half of which I enjoy playing. But with, with uh, sometimes, some areas wouldn't be how they are to other people that are playing that same section of the game. Whether that's intentional, I don't know, but some people's areas from other things that I've, other bits of the gameplay that I've watched, from other people playing the game, parts of the game I played, uh, they all looked a, they looked a bit different to what I got. With some areas that were already listen listen up before I got there, which kind of made the experience a little bit harder to progress within. But I don't I don't know what the problem was there. So I don't know whether that's a bug or it's just something wrong on my side. I don't know, but. Overall, with this game, I definitely think it's... I think it's better than the film. The film is by a long shot. I just feel like the film was very boring to me. I know what the film was trying to get across, but, but the overall vibe to me, it didn't really give me a sense of dread and uneasiness unlike what the game did. The game think did that better in every aspect. The only thing that the, that the film did do better than the game is the camera, the camera aspect. Now the camera aspect in the film is like written all over it. But within the game, I feel like it's took back a little bit too far because I do feel like it kind of abandons it in a way where it doesn't feel like it's in any way attached to the original film. Because the game makes you go through the tapes to rewind to then unlock a certain path that might be locked away. But I do feel like, yeah... I do feel like there was a missed opportunity for you to, use, to view to be like a, doing like an outlast sort of thing where you have to use the camera to see where you are going because I feel like that would have made the game a lot more realistic in terms of what the film was trying to put across in well mixed with the game. Overall, that's probably one last con I would say about this album um, about this. Uh, game. Um, that's the last thing I have to say. That's the last con. I know I have said this so many times throughout the video, but guys, 
Let me know what your opinions of this game are down in the comment section down below. Let me know what I should review next, whether it's a, a horror game or a horror film. Maybe something else with within the realm. But don't give me any books because I'm not going to have time to go through books. So whether it's TV shows, films, games, you name it, drop it in the comment section down below guys. And until the next video, peace.